The gunners of the troops of the Russian occupation expressed their dissatisfaction with the quality of the shells supplied by North Korea. In the propaganda telegram channel, the shortcomings of metal charges of 152mm artillery shells were revealed. The occupiers complain that the firing range of Korean shells reveals a difference between them. In this regard, the Russian gunners decided to test the NDT-3 metal charges for 152mm shells, choosing five random Korean charges with the same marking. According to the occupiers, it was found that metal charges do not always contain a decopper in the form of a skein of lead or tin wire, designed to remove copper that has settled from the lead belt of the projectile. Charges also have visible differences in the colors of the powders, which indirectly indicates the difference in their combustion. Some cases have traces of the opening of the sealed lids, which can lead to the ingress of moisture, which affects the quality of the powder. The inspection also showed that many of the cartridges contained varying amounts of gunpowder. Gunners note that the difference in the flight range of shells delivered from North Korea can be influenced by the following factors. Alternation of the presence absence of a copper reducer, which leads to a difference in the force of resistance to the passage of the projectile through the barrel. Different quality of gunpowder due to violation of sealing and improper storage. An uneven amount of powder in charges is possible. It is important to note that 152mm artillery shells with NDT-3 metal charges were spotted in the Russian army as early as October 2023.